is so cool. <laughs> wow. I like it. Hello, this is Erica Sparky Tech, and today I'm here to talk about the Yocon pedestal standing fan. I like to call this a vortex fan because it blows one heck of a vortex of air. Sparky Tech and Review. Yeah. In the packaging, let's start out with the papers. This one actually tells you which battery the remote control uses. Very useful. And we have even a warranty paper that you can fill out for extended coverage, as well as our user manual. The user manual has a lot of information that could be very useful to many different people. Pictorials, so it'll show you what to expect, what each setting means, what each setting does. That's quite beautiful in terms of a user manual. You'll see the model number is right here. But one thing we have that most different fans don't have is a remote control. And at the bottom we're going to see this tab, pull that out so the remote control actually has power. This came in the bag with the remote control. You might wonder, what is this? This is for essential oils. So we can see a little padding here. You got a weighted base that feels like it's an actual weight, maybe like five pounds. I don't know what it is. I never measured the weight with the plastic covering over top. How do you assemble this? Well, let's find this out base to up. Let's start with the base right down here. Turn this tube the one single tube you get. Put the top on and you can spin the top just like so. And there we go. Assembled just like this. Now the front end. We're gonna pop these little grooves. See if you can see that without seeing me. Into the fan hub right here. That's probably the hardest part of the entire thing is to slide that in and turn. It's assembled, ready to go, just plug it in. Now one concern you may have is the plug length. This cable is, for Canadians and Americans, 5 feet long or 153 centimeters in length. When first plugging in this unit, it makes a strange sound. And this sound will last for about 30 seconds when powering it off to on or plugging it in. You might not be able to hear it yet, but let's bring this a little closer. And then it stops. It's not particularly loud, it's just something you kind of notice, like, what? Not only does this fan have a remote control that looks like it has a volume up and down, which I believe is fan speed up and down. Oh, and if you want to take a closer look, we'll see. There's some information on the back end of this remote control to tell you what the settings are. If I press the power off, one thing that's kind of cool is it's going to center itself. It's going to go exactly straight down, back into its home sort of base, slowly as we can see it doing. Now I'm going to just press that power again and then I'll try the other settings. Let's use the remote control, turn this on. I'll have to face it towards the fan because it won't turn on facing the ceiling. It might against the next wall which it did, the opposite direction, just bounced off the wall. Now if I want to turn it up, I'm going to press the plus sign. And then I can turn it up some more. It's now on its highest setting. Now this one is natural airflow. On the back of the unit, we can see the settings change as I press the remote control, which is pretty cool. Natural airflow number one. And uh, now, natural airflow number two. And when I press it again, it's going to go back to the last setting it was on, so it'll go to high speed. We also have a timer. You'll see it's one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. You take the one plus the... Anyways, you can see those numbers. And it goes from there all the way to seven hours, and then goes off again. I power it off. Now, if I power it back on again, it's going to go to the original setting it was at. So, which is really nice to have. Now, if you unplug it and replug it, it's going to reset to default, which is low speed. Now, I'm going to turn that fan down a bit. And we're going to choose side to side. I press the side to side button, which is right down here. 
And we're going to choose now up and down, which will do a combination of the two. And it'll take a moment to do the up and down. It goes side to side right away, but up and down is a little slower to do. And oddly, the fan, when it adjusts the setting, will speed up and slow down a bit, which is a kind of an oddity, but that's what it does. Now we can see that fan reaching up. Let's get the camera focused. There we go. You have up to 45 degrees angle and right now I have the control up here. And let's stop it doing it side to side. So 45 degrees from here is your max distance and 45 degrees this way. So if I want better control, I'm going to face the logo more towards me. And I want to stop there. There, the fan's blowing there now. And that's how you face it a certain direction because there's no direct exact, but there is the control till it gets where you want it to be. Let me know when the air is on you. So would you recommend this fan? I think I would recommend this fan. Yeah, it's really good. You can feel air coming directly to you. It's not overly loud. You can still watch your favorite shows and have it on and cool you down. Now this is my sister talking and right now she's uh, about uh, two and a half meters away from the fan itself. Yeah, it's a really good fan. If you're stopped using it, you can press the power button and it turns off just like that. Now this is not just essential oil, it's for aroma, they call it aroma box. So you just simply put your aroma, or in this case essential oil. There we go, amazingly well at directing that scent smell. So that just shows you how directional this airflow is. It's very funneled. It's not going to disturb other people. You want the airflow on you, or me per se, it's going to be directed on me. Disassembly of the fan is shown partly here, but before we can actually turn it to remove it and unlock the front, we have to remove this screw still. I'm going to start head Phillips screwdriver from newer. And I wonder if the screw is magnetic, and yes it is. Now to unlock is a bit stiff. I'd recommend holding against your body and turning. And there we go. Now this fan here, I never removed it before. Let's see if I can figure this out, because I've never done it before. Because this looks like it comes loose. There we go. I've not read the full instructions. So we can remove parts for cleaning. Upon closer inspection, we can see this little ring here. That's the lock ring. We also have this little sliver of a groove in here. And there's also a small little groove in the circle. I'm not sure if we can see it or not in camera. There we go. If it's not lined up, it's not gonna go in. Putting it back together, this turns counterclockwise. Make sure it's nice and snug, because you don't want rattling around. There are notches on this fan for reassembly. The words itself go on the top, and the small little notches are gonna go into the groove, the small little ones. So this way, when I face it up, I'm gonna look to keep those small little notches inside that groove. So let's see if I can see that. They're just like that. And I should be able to turn my half turn. If I don't hold it, it's very hard to do that. So hold yourself against it. And that's the easy way to do it if you're holding yourself against the body. Make sure you unplug it when you actually do such a thing. Now I'm gonna screw it back together. And there we go. Excellent, it works.
To answer a few questions you may have, is this adjustable by hand? No, not really. So you kind of need to use the control or the button at the back to adjust the height. The height of itself is only 37 inches, which is slightly above three feet in height or 94 centimeters. When it comes down to it, the alignment of the height itself is great for a Chesterfield or so for whatever you want to call it or laying in bed. That's where the height of it going up and down works or having on a table as I have it right now that you can see putting up to my head height. Control distance. Right now I'm right beside the camera as we can see. It's still controlling. Now I'm going to go off camera. Off to the side. And now I'm about 12 feet away. Just shy of 4 meters. Right now it should be about 4 meters away. And uh, now it should be about 4.5 meters away. So I'm going to turn it off, turn it on. Any further, I don't think I will be able to control it. That was the limit of this. This was about 4.5 meters away distance I can get away from the fan. Subscribe to Spark eTech and keep your reviews honest. Now you could either be sold items and not told the complete truth, and if something's not a concern to you, that is absolutely fine. What you mostly hear is going to be airflow. We're likely getting a DC motor, brushless motor, to keep the silence down versus one of those cheaper type of motors that really make that little bit of motor noise. This is Eric of Sparky Tech. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.